Oh, here's what we came for. I wasn't gonna leave Milan without trying this. Oh man, yeah, you can see how thin it is. Hey everyone, it's Mark Wiens. I'm in Milan, Italy. We're on our way next to a restaurant, uh, which is a popular local restaurant that's famous for serving one of the ultimate loved foods of Milan. Okay, so this restaurant is called Rita e Antonio, and they have actually a huge menu. It's a pizzeria, they have pizzas, they have all the classic uh, Milanese dishes, but the reason we especially came here for is their uh, costoletta a la milanesa, but the special one, there it is right there. Oh. Oh, okay, grazie. Okay. Ah, uh, grazie. Okay, so we're starting with some bread and we have the, the mixed salad as well. I like this place, friendly, uh, local, and it, the lunch rush hasn't quite started yet, uh, but you can tell this is the type of place that's gonna really pick up, um, just like laid back, casual, fast paced environment. Immediately as you sit down, you get some bread. We also ordered the salad. Uh, drizzled in olive oil. Oh, I can't wait to try this bread. Oh, I think it's stuffed with olives. I think it is. Let's try it. Okay, olive oil. Mm -hmm. Stuffed with olives on the inside. Oh, it makes it so fragrant. Okay, and then we also got some salad. Beautiful tomatoes. Arugula on the bottom. A little vinegar. Mm. Wow, the tomato is juicy, sweet. Mm. I love arugula, and it's really good to get eat some vegetables before what's about to come. Oh, okay. Okay, grazie. Yes. Grazie. Risotto and osobuco. Grazie. And here it is. Yes. Okay. Okay. There it is, the main event. Okay. Grazie. Oh, here we are. This is specifically what I came to this restaurant to try, the cotoletta a la milanese. And this is one of the quintessential dishes of Milan that you absolutely have to eat when you come to Milan. And I think it's something that everybody loves, that all generations appreciate. Um, and they have lots of different sizes. And it, basically it's a veal cutlet, but it can also be made with other meats, especially pork and chicken, uh, which is then flattened out into a variety of sizes, breaded and then fried in butter. And one of the unique things that they do here, and in other places as well, I mean, they'll have different sizes, but they uh, serve the elephant ear, literally translates to the elephant ear veal cutlet, elephant ear steak, but it's so thin and then fried in butter. And literally it's the size of a pizza. It's the size of a pizza. And when he brought it to our table, you could just feel the heat like radiating off of this. Like it, it was like a, a, a fire just like radiating off, all the heat coming off of it from being fried. Oh, I can't wait to try this. I kind of almost want to pick up this entire thing, but I think it would be more appropriate to use the knife and fork method. Okay, I'm going in. Oh man, yeah, you could see how thin it is. So thin, spread out. Crispy. Mm -hmm. Oh man. That is rich. Oh, and it's almost like a complete meal because it's breaded. So it's hearty, but then you've got the thin veal on the inside that just it 
really tender, melt in your mouth. The aroma, the fragrance of the butter, and I mean, it looks huge, and it is huge, but it will definitely go down quite easily because it's so paper thin. Mm. And rather than being deep fried, you can tell that it's shallow fried in butter. So it's crispy, but not like crispy all the way through. Um, just crispy along those edges, just browned until golden. I love it. That is tasty. Okay, now for my next uh, bite. Our waiter did, check out over here, he did give us a whole plate of lemons, which he said that can be used for the cotoleta. If it starts to get rich, you can uh, use that acidity. So for our next bite, squeeze on some lemon. Oh yeah, I think lemon will make it really good. Oh yeah, really good with the lemon, that acidity, that sourness to break down the richness. But before the other dishes get cold, we gotta try the other dishes as well. This one, I think it's the tagliatelle with uh, pomodoro. Mm. Wow, the sourness of the, the tomatoes, the cheese. The pasta al dente, so it has a chewiness to it. Oh, it's so good. Okay, and then th I think this is the final dish we got, which, again, we've already tried before in Milan, but I just had to try it again. This is the osobuco, the veal shank with the bone marrow. Oh yeah, here it is, hidden beneath the sauce. This is mer version, I mean, one of the great things is, is everybody serves it a little bit differently. This one is covered in sauce, the veal cutlet, cutlet the bone marrow in the center there, the risotto alla milanese on the sides should be just like, yeah, literally spoon tender veal. Oh, with that sauce, I'm excited to try that sauce. You need a spoon to eat this. Mm. Mm. Oh man, that veal just melts in your mouth. It's so much flavor. And then that sauce, kind of hard to tell what it is. It's not that acidic. So I don't know if it's tomato, but it, Kind of tastes like tomato at the same time, but it's not that acidic. Almost like onions and carrots. Maybe it's onions and carrots um, rather than, yeah, I don't think it's tomato based. It doesn't have that acidity, but man, that's like so savory, salty, so rich from that veal. These two dishes are probably by far the most important, beloved, omnipresent, quintessential dishes of Milan. Oh man, that veal, awesome. Mm. Oh man, and then the risotto. You can really taste the flavor of saffron. It's also cooked al dente. So the, every grain of rice has a nice chewy texture to it as well. What a combination, along with that sauce. That's so good. like halfway through the, the elephant ear. Okay, so we're getting down to the bone here. And actually it gets thicker and thicker as you go towards the bone because it just flattens out from the bone so it stays thicker. You can see how thick it is at the bone. So it gets like heavier and heavier as you keep on eating it. Oh man. Nice. Oh man, that's not a light meal. Everything, like rich, packed full of flavor. Okay, that was another just outstanding meal. Love this place, love the action, the energy here. Just local, fast paced, in and out, hearty food like a neighborhood feel to it as well. Really awesome place. And that elephant ear, Costoleta a la Milanesa was, that was the highlight.
that was an amazing experience and an extremely popular local spot. Not only did it check off the list from me trying the, I mean, the, the famous Milan fried cutlet, but the elephant ear cutlet, elephant ear steak. And that was, oh, so tasty.